What's up? What's up? What's poppin'? Hey, yo, it's Nate Dog 916 coming at you live from Sacramento, man. Hey, hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell if you want to keep catching my content, man. Hey, check me out. First of all, first and foremost, shout out to Hoodie Hood from the Hood. Go check him out on YouTube. Hoodie Hood from the Hood. Now, let me break something down for you. And I guess you could say I'm piggybacking off a breast video because I feel like uh, uh, this needs to be, uh, what's the word for it? Uh, seconded. So somebody brought up, a, he brought up a subject and uh, some people didn't like what he said and how he said it and whatever. And that's cool. You you don't have to like it. If you don't like it, that just means you didn't under, you don't understand it. Um, but I feel like I need to second that emotion, right? Just like the song says, I second that emotion. So, bro was bro, bro brought up a story where an individual told a story about getting caught lacking. Basically, he was walking through an enemy neighborhood. Um. No matter what he was wearing, no matter what, you know what I mean, what time of day it was, you was walking through an enemy neighborhood and you got hit up. What they call you where you from type stuff, right? Now, I'm gonna combine a couple different of his videos and respond because there's rules to this crap. There's rules to everything in life. And if you in the streets life and you a gang member, if you a gang member and you in, in the street life, bruh, no matter where you at, no matter who you around, you a gang member, bro. Period. Period. If if that's what you about, if that's what you claim to be about, that's what you about, right? So no matter where you get hit up, how many people hit you up, that's where you from, bro. And and to 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 say anything other than I'm from Del Paso Ice, bro. Why was shining? Huh? You out of pocket. That's 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 sucker stuff. That's what that's what suckers do. You know what I mean? That's what that's what cats that ain't really about it do. Like I like if you look on my channel, you you'll see the story I said about even in prison when they put me on a yard. They put I was in the shoe and they said that uh it's a black yard, but don't no bloods go out there because it's all crips out there. And also, also, like I said, shout out to Hoodie Hood from the hood. Check him out on YouTube. No disrespect to the Crips on this part of the story. But I still went out there. And did they jump me? Yes, they jumped me. They two on one me first. And, 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 and you know, that's I guess that's technically getting jumped. You know what I mean? Whatever. But I went out there. I knew I was going to go out there and it was going to be an incident. I knew I had a chance of getting beat up by 15, 16 dudes, however many dudes was out there. I knew that was a possibility. But I chose this. Did nobody force did nobody force me at that time to be a blood? I mean, nobody's never forced me to be a blood. But when I was a gang member, nobody forced me to do that. I chose that. So I chose everything that came along with it, which means you might get caught lacking and you might get your ass whooped. That's what happens. And like he said, you study from it, you come back better. You wouldn't catch me as a youngster at any time in the middle of the night walking through my enemy hood unless I was looking for some smoke. If I wasn't looking for no smoke, you couldn't catch me walking through my enemy hood in the middle of the night. I don't care if my car broke down I'll, I'll walk around. I'll walk around. Somebody coming to get me. If I call, say I'm on the other side of an enemy neighborhood, cats gonna be rushing to come get me. So I'm not. I really wouldn't have to worry about it. So I really, definitely wouldn't have to walk 